Hello students, in this video lecture I am going to discuss binary relation and related concepts. Now uh, for discussing basically our aim is to discuss partial order relation but before I start with partial order relation there are a few concepts uh, which uh, you should know thoroughly and one of them is binary relation and a few related concepts uh, related to the binary uh, relation. So these are certain prerequisites uh, which are uh, required before you start studying uh, partial, partial order relation. So uh, the first thing that I am going to start with is uh, what is a binary relation uh, on a set binary relation on a set S. Let's say the set is S. Now whenever you talk of a binary relation then always binary relation is talked of on an underlying set. There is always a set on which the binary, uh, binary relation is uh, talked uh, on. So let's say that set is S. The underlying set is S and the relation which I am taking is denoted by R. Then R is said to be a binary relation on S if uh, with the help of R uh, you can compare two elements of S. So any relation uh, R on the set S with the help of which you can compare two elements of S, let's say the two elements I am denoting by these stars, whatever these elements are, if you can uh, compare these two elements using the relation R where these two elements are coming from the set S, mm -hmm. then you say that R is a binary relation on the set S. Now. Uh, a few uh, examples in this regard. Let me uh, start with the uh, first example. Now, as I said before, whenever you are talking of a binary relation, then uh, always uh, there are uh, there is one thing which one should know uh, that what is the underlying set S on which you are talking of uh, the relation. And the second thing, there is one more thing which you should know. The second thing is that how is the relation R defined? So these are the two things one must know when one is talking of a binary relation on a set S. The underlying set S and the relation R, how is it defined? Let me, in this particular example, let me take S to be N, the set of natural numbers. And let me define the relation R as, I say that for any two natural numbers, N and M belonging to N. N uh, is nothing but the set S. We are denoting it by the set S. Then... Uh, for any two natural numbers n and m belonging to n, uh, n and m belonging to n or capital N or uh, S, I say that n is related to m if n is less than equal to m. This is how I am defining the relation. Now this particular relation R which is defined like this, this is of course a binary relation because it, it will allow you to compare two elements. Uh, this less than equal to is the usual uh, way. Uh, usual less than equal to sign the usual way in which we uh, use usual sense in which we say that two two numbers uh, one number is less than equal to with, uh, the other just the usual sense i know that two is less than equal to three so in that sense usual sense uh, this is the less than e this less than equal to sign is defined in that way so uh, now this particular relation r is defined like this and it it will help me it helps me to compare two elements and therefore it's a binary relation so, uh, let me take uh, two uh, natural numbers for example as I just uh, took over here. So, if you take 2 and 3 belonging to uh, n, both of them are natural numbers. I know that 2 is less than equal to 3 because uh, this uh, property is being satisfied. So, you can write that 2 is related to 3. In the same manner, uh, you have 3 and 4 if you consider belonging to the set of natural numbers. I know that 3 is less than equal to 4. So, 3 is related to 4. So this is, uh, we know uh, whether two elements are related or not. And uh, uh, then again, if you take, uh, let's say two and two only, if you, if you take, if you compare two with itself, I know that uh, two is equal to two. And this particular definition less than equal to this, this particular I, the n less than equal to m, what does that mean? This is, this says that n will be less than equal to m if either n is strictly less than m or n is equal to m. One of these two things if one of these two things happens if one of these two things happens if n is strictly less than m or if n is equal to m then we say that n is less than equal to m and now you can see over here when uh, when you take uh, when you compare 2 with itself then i have that 2 is uh, equal to 2 2 is uh, equal to itself so 2 is related to 2 so in that sense uh, 
uh, the, I can find out whether an element is related to itself or not. Yes, it, an element uh, is related to itself. So this particular relation R, uh, which is defined on the set of uh, natural numbers, this uh, is including uh, the possibility of equal elements being related. In this particular, this particular relation R is defined in such a way that equal elements can be uh, related. So this is a non-strict relation. So this particular example which we have given for a binary rela relation, this is a non-strict uh, relation because uh, it includes the possibility of equal elements being related, equal elements can be related. So the way we have defined the relation R, this possibility is included. So that was about uh, the first example when you took uh, uh, S to be the set of natural numbers and you took the relation R to be defined like this. Now let me take, uh, let me just change the set a little and let me ch just change the relation a little. So another example let me take, I am taking the second example, let me take S to be the set of integers and let me ta define the relation R uh, to be uh, strictly less than relation which means that if N and M are two integers, I am writing a, uh, you can see I am writing a, a line over Z. Uh, just to indicate that this is uh, this particular set is not the normal uh, Z it is a it is a set and the same way I wrote a, a line over uh, the set of natural numbers here just just to indicate this particular uh, sign you can see just to indicate that this is not the normal uh, alphabet N but this is uh, a set a set of uh, natural numbers a particular set of number system so now uh, coming back to the second example I define the relation R to be like this if n and m are two integers then I say that n is related to m if n is uh, strictly less than m this is how I define my relation as now if you uh, just take a look at this relation so by the way so of course it's a binary relation because it allows you to compare uh, two integers but let me find out whether it is a non strict relation or not now if you uh, just take one and two belonging to the set of uh, integers I know that one is strictly less than two so this implies that one is related to two and uh, if you take uh, two and three again uh, by the same reason I have that two and three are integers and two is strictly less than three so two is uh, related to three but let me take two s uh, equal integers let me take three and three and uh, let me compare three with itself now three can't be strictly less than itself an integer can't be strictly less than itself so which means that uh, this uh, this does not imply that three is related to three so a, 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 a number uh, cannot a number which is uh, cannot be related to itself which means that or i can say that three is uh, uh, not related to 3 I can write like this which means that this particular relation which we have defined like this this is not including the possibility of equal elements being related so in uh, so the equal elements are not being related over here unlike the previous example in which equal elements were related because the relation was defined like that and now here the equal elements are not related so in that sense because it is not including the possibility of equal elements uh, being related so in that sense it is a strict relation because it is not including the possibility of equal elements being related so this is a strict relation so uh, so this is uh, these are two examples which two examples of binary relation uh, relations which are a little different from each other this one is a non strict relation and this one is a strict relation now let me take uh, the third example now let me take uh, a to be um, uh, the set uh, 1 2 or let me just uh, add one more element to it 1 2 3 uh, it has three elements 1 2 3 and let me take s to be the power set of a so s is the power set of a now what do you what do you understand by power set of a now power set of a set is the set of all subsets of that set so power set of a is the set of all subsets of a which means that here i'll have all subsets of a now because a has you can see that a has uh, three elements so the power set of a will have two to the power three elements which is eight in general we know that this is the result that if there is a set with n elements then the number of uh, elements in its power set will be two to the power n so uh, it has 2 to the power 3 which is 8 elements and now let me list out the elements in the power set of A. The first element is the phi set or the empty set. Then you have uh, sets consisting of just one element which is the singletons 1, 2, 3. Then uh, we have uh, subsets which uh, consists of two elements 1, 2. Then uh, you have uh, 2, 3. 
and uh, then you have one three and the last one is the set a itself which is one two three so these are the eight uh, elements we have one two three four five six seven and eight these are the eight elements in the power set of a and now i am defining the relation on the set s in the earlier two examples uh, s was taken to be uh, a, uh, the set of uh, uh, number system here s was taken to be the set of natural numbers here s was taken to be um, uh, again the set of integers both were number systems now here i am taking my set s to be a set which is uh, which whose elements are sets themselves so i am taking s to be the power set of a the elements of s are themselves sets and now let me uh, define a relation on r i define a relation r on the set s and i define it i define it like this for any two elements x and y belonging to s of course x and y are going to be sets themselves i say that x is going to be related to y if you have that x is contained in y this is how i am defining the relation r now this relation is uh, called inclusion relation because uh, uh, here uh, we are saying that x is related to y if x is included in y if x is contained in y so now let me find out uh, now this of course is a binary relation because with the help of this uh, you can find out whether two elements are related or not in the set s so let me consider uh, one and uh, uh, let's say one two so uh, i want to find out whether they are related or not one is contained in one two of course uh, uh, so they are related which means uh, because this is contained in this so i write one is related to one two i write like this uh, now uh, it, it is not uh, you have to remember one thing now this is not same as writing one two is uh, uh, related to one it is not same as writing this because this this line means that one two is contained in one which is not true so we have to write like this only this is the right way of writing in the same way if you take two and uh, if you take uh, uh let's say 1 uh, 2 3 3 then uh, 1 2 3 this should be 3 then 1 2 3 this uh, uh, sets of singleton consisting of singleton element 2 this is contained in 1 2 3 so of course uh, you have and this is nothing but the set a so you have that 1 2 1 uh, uh, sorry 2 is uh, very much related to the set a which is 1 2 3 so uh and uh, again if you consider uh, two elements uh, let's say i consider 1 and i consider 2 both of them belong to the set s and let me find out whether they are related or not now you can just see that 1 is not contained in 2 this singleton is not contained in this and 2 is also not contained in 1 so uh, this means that neither one is contained in 2 nor 2 is contained in 1 so neither this is related to this nor this is related to this so th th such a case can happen the two elements might not be related uh, no sided inclusion uh, is uh, true neither uh, this sided inclusion is true neither this side inclusion is true so such elements can exist and uh, in fact there is a name of a name for such elements which are not uh, related to each other and such elements are called non comparable elements so they are non comparable elements so as far as uh, uh, these two elements are concerned they are non comparable elements why because they are not uh, related to each other in any way so uh, in general if you are in a set s and if r is the relation defined on the set s then for a and b belonging to s uh, if you have if uh, if uh, a related to b is not true if if this is not true and if uh, b is related to it this is also not true if both are not true which means that uh, neither a is related to b nor b is related to a in that case you say that a and b are non comparable elements so uh, these are non comparable elements as far as this particular example is concerned and uh, the previous uh, elements that we, that we took this one these are comparable elements because uh, uh you you can have a uh, uh, two uh, this is um, uh this two this is contained in 1 2 3 so these are comparable elements then the, these two elements are also comparable because one the set one the set consisting of just one is contained in set consisting of 1 2 so these are very much comparable elements so these elements are comparable while these elements are 
non comparable so that was the third example which is a very important example because we often encounter uh, um, examples on uh, power set of a set so this example keeps coming when you talk of uh, partial order relation and uh, now let me just take uh, another uh, a very different example different in the sense that till now we have been talking of uh, uh, sets uh, which uh, uh, consisted of numbers now here s consisted of the set of natural numbers here uh, the set s consisted of the set of integers and here also the set s uh, was uh, a power set of a set but uh, still it was based on numbers only so we, till now we have been dealing with the set of numbers now let me take uh, s to be uh, something other than numbers let me take s to be the set of all humans or set of all human beings and let me uh, define uh, r to be uh, relation defined uh, like this for uh, for a and b belonging to s which means a and b are human beings you say that a is related to b if a is taller than b or if a is uh, shorter than b in height shorter than b if a is taller than b or a is shorter than b whatever you are the whatever way you want to uh, define uh, your relation r s so a is shorter than b in terms of height so uh, in now this particular relation r which has i have defined like this this will allow uh, me to find out whether two human beings are related or not so if there is a human being a uh, and let's say the height of uh, human being a is uh, let's say 6 feet and if there is a human being b and the height of the human being b is let's say 7 feet then i can safely say that a is related to b why because height 6 feet is shorter than uh, 7 feet so a is related to b so uh, so i can compare two elements uh, using this relation so this is very much a binary a binary relation now let me find out whether it is a strict relation or a non strict relation now if you consider a to be a, the, the same human being with the uh, height 6 feet now uh, a uh, cannot be related to uh, Uh, himself or herself it can't be a human being can't be related to himself or herself because a human being uh, can't be shorter than himself or herself so in that sense uh, the, by the way we have the way we have defined the relation r uh, this this uh, a human being can't be uh, related to himself or her, herself so this particular relation does not include the possibility of equal elements being related so uh, this is in that sense this is a strict relation so this is an example of a uh, strict relation so this is a binary relation uh, which uh, is not uh, based on numbers uh, but uh, this uh, this is also an example of a binary uh, relation which is a strict relation because it uh, does not include the possibility of uh, two equal elements being related so these were a few examples uh, uh, related to binary relations the first example was on the set of naturals relation was defined like this the second was on the set of integers relation was defined like this uh, third was on the set uh, power set of a set and uh, the relation was inclusion relation and the last uh, uh, example was on the set of human beings and uh, uh, you can uh, you define the relation like this that a human being is related to another human being if if he or she is shorter than the other human being but instead of shorter than you can uh, say uh, taller than or whatever way you want to define uh, the relation your relation as so these are few examples which which this also tells me that when you are talking of a binary relation that you then you need not restrict yourself just to number system systems you can always uh, uh, talk of relations on uh, any set uh, other than number system as an example for also one thing more which uh, needs to be observed over here is that when you talk of a relation let's say uh, go to uh, uh, example 1 when you talk of a relation here when i was talking of relation on the set of naturals and i was de defining my relation r like this that two naturals are related two natural numbers n and m are related if n is less than equal to m then this uh, actually induces a sort of order in the uh, set in the sense that if you have let's say i have uh, uh, three natural numbers to 1 2 and 3 i can uh, order them uh, using this relation because i know that one is less than equal to 2 and i know that two is less than equal to 3 so this particular relation is given giving me a sort of order so in that sense this is uh, not only a binary binary relation but this is uh, also an ordered uh, relation because it induces an order in the set s so that was all about the binary relation the concepts uh, and the related concepts all those concepts which you require for studying 
partial order relation and now we are all set to study uh, what a partial order relation is.